Hello everyone, welcome to JS Group Info in this video we are going to talk about Indian Women's vs West Indies Women's T20 World Cup Match Review. I believe this video will be very useful for you, if you are a cricket lover, this is the right channel, let's start the video. Deepti Sharma became the first Indian, male or female, to reach 100 T20I wickets as she set up India's six-wicket victory against the West Indies in Cape Town on Wednesday. February 15, on a wicket hating the slower bowlers, Deepti finished with excellent figures of 3 for 15 from her 4 overs to restrict the opposition to 118-6. India stuttered a bit in the chase but the 72-run partnerships between Richie Ghosh, 44 off 32, 5 fours, and Harman Preet Corp, 33 off 42, 3 fours, helped them over the line with 11 deliveries to spare to make it two wins out of two. Shafley set the tone for the chase by striking three fours off Sharmilia Connell in the opening over and followed it up with a boundary off Chenal Henry. The bowler was also hit for two more fours by Smriti Mandana, returning to the playing 11 after missing the first game due to a finger injury. Mandana's stay, however, was a short one as she was stumped off Karishma Ramkrak in the fourth over and Haley Matthews took a sharp catch off her own bowling to send Jimmy Rodriguez back to the hut. A boundary for Shafley off Ramkrak helped India and the power play at 41 halves. A tight over from Matthews followed and in her bid to up the ante Shafley became the third to depart as she slog swept Ramkrak straight to deep backward square leg. The onus was on Harman Preet and Gosh to stabilize India's innings and the Indian captain, after a slow start, struck successive fours off of E. Fletcher in an over that yielded 16 runs. Just before that, Stephanie Taylor had to be stretched off the field after injuring herself while throwing. Meanwhile, off-spinner Ramkrak continued to strangle India as she gave away only four runs off her final over to finish with impressive figures of 2 for 14 with India managing only 64 in the first half of their innings. But Connell ended up going for 9 in her second over, which included a boundary for Gosh, while Harman Preet swept the full toss from Fletcher for a boundary to bring the equation down to 27 off the last 6 overs. Fletcher was also guilty of not collecting a throw properly, which would have given West Indies the chance to run Harman Preet out. The half-century stand was raised shortly after with the fourth wicket pair pacing their partnership well, with plenty of singles and twos interspersed with boundaries. India crossed 100 at the start of the 16th over when Gosh pulled Henry for a four. Gosh then hit two fours off Gajnabi and despite Henry dismissing Harman Preet and bowling a maiden, India's wicketkeeper bat finished it off with the four in the penultimate over off Connell. Earlier, after opting to bat, West Indies were sluggish during the power play as they managed only 29 runs and also lost Matthews early in the innings. Pooja Vastrikar got the West Indies captain edging to the keeper with the delivery that moved late, dismissing Matthews for the fifth time, as she started with a wicket maiden. Vastrikar conceded only five runs from her first two overs and despite Taylor and Shemaine Campbell managing a few boundaries. West Indies could not make the most of the fielding restrictions. The second wicket pair did pick up pace as the innings progressed, managing regular boundaries and rotating the strike well, as they added 73. But the set batters fell in quick succession to deep D. Campbell fell to a reverse sweep, with Madonna taking a diving catch, while India used to review to send Taylor back LBW. Chino Henry was run out soon after as West Indies slipped to 79 fourths. Shabika Gajnabi and Chidian Nation struck a boundary each off the Vakavadia in the 17th over, and the former also edged a vast card delivery for a four, but she fell to renew Kasing and Deepti added another wicket to her tally by having Fletcher bowled in the final over, as India conceded 36 in the last five overs to complete the tidy job with the ball. Thank you so much if you like my channel please give your golden support to me, like, share and subscribe for more cricket updates, be safe, be happy.